Shameless star Tina Malone has hit back after her panto cocaine arrest, and claimed the drug was planted in her bag. The actress was seized by cops in front of her four-year-old daughter as she left a theatre following her wicked fairy godmother role in Sleeping Beauty. Cocaine was found in a purse and she was cautioned for possession. But in an emotional interview, Tina said, I swear on my daughter's life I've never take drugs in front of children or while performing. I told police it was a setup but I took the caution because of flame. She'd only just watched me on stage. I walked off, kissed her, and was just about to get into a taxi with her when the police came. My husband Paul took her to the hotel to wait for me. To be honest, I'd have admitted to being Jack the Ripper right there and then to get back to her. Former Brookside star Tina, 54, also blasted claims from theatre insiders that she behaved like a diva and refused to stay in the cast apartments for the budget production at Barrow in Furness, Cumbria. She also denied swearing at children appearing in the panto. After years of honesty about her past drug taking, which she confessed in her autobiography, ex-alcoholic Tina said, if I'd have done this, I'd hold up my hand and admit it. But I didn't I was set up. I've always been honest about my addictions. I wrote I had college days smoking pot, I'd done ecstasy, I messed about with cocaine, but that my drug of choice would always have been alcohol. Often in tears, Tina claimed she was shocked when police found less than a line of cocaine wrapped in paper in a purse Flame had bought for her. She found it suspicious photographers turned up to ask her to pose for them hours before her arrest on December 22, and that the story broke before she had been released from the police station. Tina said the incident has devastated husband Paul Chase, 19 years her junior. She claims she is no longer on speaking terms with her older daughter Danielle, 36. Horrified by the allegations, the star, who lost more than 12 stone after a gastric ban up, sobbed, I don't care what people say about me. Call me a gobby scouse dog, but don't say I would be horrible to kids. I've never take drugs anywhere near a child. I would never tell a child to F off. That's what's really killing me more than the drug stuff. My Facebook page shows how many parents at the show say you had no need to spend so much time with my child, you made their day. The papers said I was backstage asking, where's my bag of fairy snow? It was ludicrous remember my blood was being tested every week through my IVF for flame and my gastric band surgery. They tested me for every drug. Tina, 54, who played Mimi McGuire in Shameless, was detained as she got into a taxi outside the Cloud Nine Theatre with Paul and Flame. She was escorted back inside the venue to be quizzed. She said she vomited after police found drugs in the purse where she kept purple eyelashes she used on stage. Tina said, they wanted to search my bag. I went to tip it up and a female officer said it's okay and took out the purse. I said, what's all this about and she said they'd been tipped off I had cocaine. I said you're joking search me I'll strip off. She took something out of the purse, 
a little piece of paper. She opened it and said there's drugs here and I projectile vomited all over the floor. I was hysterical I knew it wasn't mine. Tina was taken to Barra police station and fingerprinted. She said, I was shown my paper with the drugs inside it. It was in two pieces one had Tina Malone written on it. Inside was a tiny amount that looked like less than a line. Tina was in and out of a police cell as her case was processed. Then she was offered a caution. She says, the desk sergeant said he wanted me out of there. I told him this was a setup it was online by the time I got back to Paul and Flame at around 3 a.m. She said she didn't feel she needed a lawyer as she thought a caution was a telling off. I accepted it even though the drugs weren't mine, said Tina. I didn't realize there were serious repercussions. Now she has cancelled Hollywood meetings about a film venture amid fears you will not be allowed into America. The damage to her reputation as an actress is what worries her most. I'm not a diva, she insisted. I didn't want to stay at the apartments where everyone else was as I was on my own and everyone said it was rough. A theatre barmaid told me a body had been found near there two weeks earlier. When I got there, the cooker and heating weren't working. It was so cold I went to bed with my coat and head on. She described the Cloud Nine Theatre, above a nightclub, as being like something out of Phoenix Nights. Tina also said she never used the tiny dressing room where she was alleged to have taken coke, preferring to get ready beside the stage. She knows many will not believe her claims, but added tearfully, I don't care. I know the truth. Panto producer Joe Purdy, 26, backed Tina's claim. He said, I honestly think she was set up. I never saw her at any point taking drugs. She was always professional and great with the kids. He said he moved Tina from her apartment as soon as he realized she wasn't happy. I personally thought the apartments were lovely, he said of it. It's each to their own so I moved her to a hotel. Director Alan French added, it's a horrible situation for her. I believe she was set up she was competent and talented and did her job professionally. It's despicable. A cast member, who asked not to be named, said, I fully support Tina. We did two shows a day and long hours together and I never saw any evidence of any sort of drugs use. No one from the apartments commented. Tina was not paid for this interview. She has asked us to make a donation to the James Bulger Memorial Trust.